All right. Mm. All right, one more. Mm. 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 Hey. All right. Five health hacks. If you suck at losing weight. There's so many hacks, so many hacks, but I'm gonna give you five. And this is only if you suck at losing weight. Listen, if you, if you just came on here and your things are going well and you're doing great and you're losing weight or you've lost weight and you're in great shape, this message isn't for you. But if you're, like I find myself sometimes when I'm digging in a bag of chips, um, suck at losing weight. Fortunately, I know what to do and I'm not gonna let my, beat myself up. But I'm gonna give you five hacks. Ooh, well first, I got a little crumbs, hold on. Five simple health hacks. Number one, first and foremost, put down the freaking bag of chips. That's it. And, and here, let me see, do these look familiar? What do you do with these, right? First of all, you have these because you know like, well, I really want to eat the whole bag but I'm only gonna have a few. I'm gonna do this. I'll put the chip clip on, like that. Hey, put that on. Yeah, really? You don't, this is not what this is for. Put that over there. You know what this should be used for? This right here, this is what it should be used for. <laughs> When you're feeling snacky, go get your bag of chips with the chip clip on and then go ahead and put this on there because I'm having fun. Let's have some fun. But first, number one, put down the freaking bag of chips, right? Number two, which goes back to number one, is keep the snacks out of sight and out of mind. Well, I'm really going to be on here. Again, this is not to, to, uh, to badger you or anything like that. I'm just sharing with you legit what just happened to me. I was hungry. I was real busy. I didn't have lunch and I saw those snacks in there. Um, you know, those came from like the airlines, like the small bags. And that's why I think pop secrets or whatever pop thing. Anyway, I don't make any money off them. So I'm going to share with them. And they say that they're healthy because they're non GMO and they're popped and blah, blah, blah. But they all seem to have the same amount of calories, same amount of fat. They just do a really good job marketing. Number two, keep you, if you suck at losing weight, here's what you need to do. You need to keep the snacks out of arms reach in other words keep them out now the hard thing is well i got here's the thing this is your sellout but i got kids i got teenagers they need snacks and you know i'm not gonna throw my wife under the bus but i tend to go with a list and i try not to go and bring home a bunch of snacks but i never complain when she brings them home and and again you got to keep them with arms reach i saw those and i went for them so number two Hack number two is to keep them out of arm's reach. Maybe you keep them in an area, maybe you gotta lock it up, what have you, or just minimize how much of that you bring home. And that actually goes to number three. They're all kind of work hand in hand. Number three is, don't, I wrote these down just so I wouldn't forget. You gotta get excited if you haven't noticed on any of my lives. Eat, not after you go grocery shopping. Let's, let's just, I'm gonna say that again. I might've said it in some other times. Hack. Number three is you got to eat before you go to the grocery store. You got to eat. You got to have something to eat. Even if you're going to go in the middle of the afternoon, trust me, you're going to be snacking for those chips and then you're going to go down that chip aisle, by the way, which is an entire aisle in most grocery stores, which blows me away. Entire aisle of a grocery store is all chips. And another aisle, an entire aisle, you know, you shop at the same stores I do. The entire other aisle is, is cereal that crazy so maybe you just need to stay away from those but if you're gonna go to the grocery store and you got to shop for food don't go when you're hungry don't go when you're after eat in fact maybe after dinner would be great or after lunch or maybe in the morning after breakfast if you're able to do that depending on your schedule that's number three number four this one's a this one's a good one and this is just a simple hack when you're making food at home chances are you've been in lockdown and maybe you just learned how to cook more for yourself at home use a small plate I never really understood a salad plate right like who uses a salad plate? Use that small plate. You know it's been stuffed in a corner up in your pantry or in your cupboard somewhere. Cupboard? Somewhere. Something. I think they call it that. <laughs> in your pantry, wherever I have your dishes. And take out those salad plates that you don't really use because nobody really uses salad plates anymore. I don't know if you do. I don't. We haven't. I don't think since we've been married. 
use those small plates. That's what you should. When you're having dinner, that would be a great hack just to have a small plate because then you're not going to be really tendency to fill your plate up because then what if you fill your plate up, then you tend to clean your plate. Maybe that, I don't know if that resonates with you either. Number four, number five, this one's the most important thing. Don't beat yourself up. Don't beat yourself up over it. That's the worst. As you can say, ma'am, I'm snacky today. I want chips. And then it's not so much that you're eating them. It's that you're going to feel bad, feel bad of yourself, feel bad about yourself, worse about yourself. It's like, I really want to lose weight. Maybe you're watching this right now and you're eating some ice cream. Maybe you're snacking on a candy bar. Maybe you're drinking a soda. And here's the thing. If you're doing that, can't tell you might be beating yourself up, right? You might be beating yourself up. That's probably the the biggest tip, the biggest tip, hack, call it a hack. The biggest health hack I could tell you is if you're trying to lose weight and you're probably sucking at losing weight, don't beat yourself up. I, I think people beat themselves up too much. And I'll tell you, if you don't have the willpower, if you don't have the motivation, you just say, I just can't seem to get my SHIT together. I just can't get it together, Mark. Well, guess what? What do you think I do for a living? This is what I do. If you didn't know, I am a health and fitness coach. I do this all online. So it doesn't matter where you live. So you can remove that excuse like, oh, you don't live near me. So how are we going to coach? It's completely online. I've been I've been a health and fitness coach for the past 25 years in person, in the gyms, have my own gym, in people's homes. I've done all that. It's truly, hands down, the absolute best. What I'm doing now and helping um, men and women, primarily men and women that are over 40, who want to lose weight, who maybe suck at losing weight, but really want to lose weight, and they want to do it without long workouts and possible diets. And why long workouts and possible diets? Because that's what I hear and see people time and time again think they need to work out for hours and hours and hours. And then they think they need to like eat 500 calories. They need to just restrict so much. They can't eat any carbs. <laughs> if you want to eat some popcorners, you can, you can do that. I'm packing. I'm going to have one more. I probably have a serving over a serving size, but listen, how do I do it? Cause I got a flexible, simple, sustainable plan. And that's what I teach my coaching clients. I have a program that's specifically designed to help you. If you suck at losing weight, they're like, okay, sounds awesome, but I don't know. I don't know you. I can't trust you. God, keep following me. I've been doing this for a while. Keep following me. I'm not going anywhere. I've been doing this 25 years. Uh, I think the first time I really started on online, going online as far as in social media, Facebook was when I owned the gym and that was more gym centric. But I've been online now for the last two or three years. Maybe you've been watching. Maybe you've come back. Like, oh, he's still doing it. Yep, I'm still doing it. I'm passionate about it. And I have success. Do you think I'd be able to do this if I if I just did it pretty much for free? Like, I couldn't afford to live where I live or pay the bills or put popcorners in my hands so I can eat them, right? I have kids. <laughs> I have a family. I have a wife. I have to, to provide for them. If I wasn't successful in what I've been doing, do you think I'd be still doing it after 25 years? No. So... If you suck at losing weight and the list here, if you can't put down the freaking bag of chips, if you can't keep the food out of sight and out of mind, if you have no idea how to shop, you're like, okay, I'm going to go to the grocery store after I eat, but I don't know what to shop for. I don't know what I should buy. Do I, can I eat bread more? Can I, oh my gosh, can I have some cereal if I want to? Is it okay to have some ice cream? Yes, yes, and yes. You can have all those things. It just... You have to look at the bigger picture, right? It's not about restricting. It's about actually learning what you should and shouldn't be doing. And the best way to do that is to get around an expert. So if you stink and don't understand like a small plate, big plate, how much portion size you should be eating, what kind of foods you should be eating based on the goals you're trying to achieve, all you got to do right now, send me a message, send me a private one. Actually, right now, say, I want help. Just put it down in the chat below. Say, Mark, I want help. I'm going to put the link to where you can book a call with me, 10, 15 minute call. And listen, I'm going to say this. If you're listening right now, if you're not serious, please don't waste my time. I don't want to waste your time because I am looking for serious people who want to make serious change, who are ready 
not like, oh, I kind of need to lose a little weight. Come, yeah, maybe I can, maybe, yeah, yeah. If you're not ready to invest in yourself, please don't, don't even bother. Don't waste my time. I don't want to waste your time. There's too many people out there that I know who need my help. This isn't for you. That's cool too. But listen, just stop eating yourself up. You can have one of two things. You can have results. You can get results. In other words, you can lose the weight. You know, if you're still in your mind, like I, I suck at losing weight and that's been the case for the last 10 years, what is stopping you right now from finding a solution? It's just you. It's typically you. It's your, it's right here. It's self-imposed. Like, oh, I, I don't think I can do it or I'm not worth the investment. Like maybe that's it too. But if you're ready, if you're serious, shoot me a message right down below. Say, I want help right now. Or you can send me a private message. That's fine too. I'll send you my application. You can book a call. Serious inquiries only. Please, serious. I'm only looking for success stories. I don't want or need any more coaching clients. I'm looking for success stories. If you want to be that success story, if you want to stop sucking at losing weight, if you want to get the weight off and you want to do it without long workouts or impossible diets, and you want to be able to maybe every once in a while have... These things are freaking good. Popcorners, white cheddar... Never fried. That means I can eat the whole bag. No, it doesn't. That means I need to do this right now. Anyway, hope those tips help. Take care. God bless. We'll see you later. Bye.